Rachel Zegler is at the center of what could be Disney's biggest disaster ever not only has the Snow White remake been hit with the worst boycott in Disney history, but millions of dollars in merchandise have been completely scrapped all while Zegler faces backlash for blaming Gal Gadot and even her own fans and wait until you hear about her legal action against Disney after they canal all her major promotions for the film. Could this be the end of Ziggler's career with Disney? Stay tuned, because this saga is far from over before we start. If you enjoy the video, please consider subscribing. I'm really hoping to reach one. Zero, zero subscribers and your support would mean a lot. Thanks so much. Welcome back, everyone. It seems like things are falling apart at Disney, and it's not looking good for Bob Iger. The company is facing a full-blown crisis across all its divisions from Marvel to Lucasfilm, but one of the biggest problems. Right now is the upcoming Snow White remake set for release in 2025. This film, by the way, is Disney's most expensive live action remake ever, and it's already causing massive chaos for Iger and the top executives. Now, let's talk about Bob Iger. He has a reputation for telling shareholders and Disney's core audience what they want to hear, but behind the scenes, his decisions are causing serious damage. One clear example is the Snow White trailer. When it dropped, it didn't just get a few dislikes. The backlash against Disney's upcoming film Snow White set for release in 2025 has reached a fever pitch, drawing significant attention on social media. With over a million dislikes on its trailer alone, this reception is a glaring red flag for the studio, suggesting that the film may be on a trajectory toward disaster. Disney has already been grappling with financial setbacks, and this growing controversy only exacerbates their challenges. The negative sentiment surrounding Snow White appears to stem from various factors, not least of which is the casting of Rachel Ziegler in the titular role. Ziegler, known for her performance in West Side Story, has faced a torrent of criticism from fans who are concerned about the film's direction and authenticity. As the backlash continues to mount, families and regular moviegoers have begun to openly reject the film, leading to calls for a boycott that could have serious financial implications for Disney. Adding fuel to the fire, Disney CEO Bob Iger's recent cost-cutting measures are also being scrutinized. Many believe these strategies aimed at improving the company's bottom line are failing to address the core issues facing the film. Instead of enhancing production quality or refining the marketing strategy, these cuts may inadvertently undermine the project's potential success. This has left audiences questioning whether the company is prioritizing profits over storytelling and creative integrity. The situation surrounding Ziegler is particularly concerning for Disney. Initially, there was excitement about her casting, however, as the release date approaches, that enthusiasm has shifted to skepticism and criticism. Some fans have pointed to the perceived lack of connection between Ziegler and the character of Snow White, leading to concerns about how the film will portray this beloved fairy tale. The original story carries themes of innocence and adventure, and many worry that the modern retelling may deviate too far from these elements causing further alienation from traditional audiences. Moreover, the social media landscape plays a crucial role in amplifying dissent. Platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok allow fans to voice their concerns and share opinions widely, creating a ripple effect that can influence public perception. The sheer volume of dislikes and critical comments on the trailer suggests that the conversation is not just limited to niche circles but is spreading to a broader audience that Disney cannot afford to ignore. As families begin to reconsider their plans for watching the film, Disney finds itself in a precarious position. With the film industry still recovering from the pandemic's effects, every box office dollar counts. If the current trend continues, Disney risks losing millions in ticket sales and merchandise, which could lead to broader implications for the company's future projects. The narrative around Snow White is not just about a single film, it reflects larger issues within the entertainment industry, including how companies respond to audience feedback and the importance of authenticity in storytelling. Fans are increasingly vocal about their expectations and desires for representation in films, and this backlash signals a clear demand for greater thoughtfulness in casting and storytelling choices. In addition, the increasing call for boycotts highlights a growing trend among audiences who feel empowered to take a stand against content they perceive as misaligned with their values or expectations. This phenomenon is not limited to Disney. Various entertainment entities are experiencing similar pushback as audiences become more discerning and vocal about what they want to see on screen. As the premiere date approaches, Disney faces the daunting task of re-engaging with its audience and addressing the concerns surrounding Snow White. A successful turnaround may require a re-evaluation of the film's marketing strategy, greater transparency regarding its creative direction, 
and possibly even shifts in the production to align more closely with audience expectations. Ultimately, the drama surrounding Rachel Ziegler and the growing backlash against the film present an opportunity for Disney to learn from this experience. By actively listening to their audience and adapting to feedback, they may not only salvage Snow White, but also set a precedent for future projects, ensuring they resonate more deeply with viewers. In a rapidly changing entertainment landscape, the ability to adapt and respond to audience sentiment will be crucial for Disney's success moving forward. Recently, tensions have escalated between Disney and the creative team behind the upcoming Snow White film, culminating in a heated confrontation between director Mark Webb and writer Greta Greta Gerwig. The conflict was sparked by new data from Disney's analysts, which revealed a rapidly growing boycott of the film. This data has alarmed Disney, showing that the negative sentiment is spreading at an alarming rate, putting the film's success in serious jeopardy. The situation is further complicated by the fact that some members of the production team are placing the blame squarely on the fans. They argue that the backlash stems from deep-seated sexism and misogyny, suggesting that critics are rejecting the film simply because it offers a modern reinterpretation of Snow White, which diverges significantly from the beloved 1937 original. This view has only fueled the controversy, as many fans feel that their legitimate concerns about the film's direction are being dismissed as merely prejudiced. Adding to the chaos, Rachel Zegler, who stars as Snow White, has shifted some of the blame onto Gal Gadot and the trailer editors. Zegler has publicly criticized Gadot's portrayal of the evil queen and the way the trailer was edited, suggesting that these elements have contributed significantly to the intense backlash. The trailer, which was meant to generate excitement, has instead been met with a flood of dislikes across social media platforms, further exacerbating the film's problems. The impact of this backlash has been severe. Disney had to remove thousands of Snow White merchandise items, particularly those based on Ziegler's portrayal of the character. This move represents a staggering financial hit, with the canceled merchandise amounting to a $20 million loss. This is comparable in scale to the issues faced by other high-profile projects like the Acolyte series, but the financial ramifications for Snow White are on a much larger scale. The fallout from the boycott has reached such proportions that it threatens to overshadow the film's release entirely. With the film's financial prospects dimming, Disney faces a precarious situation. The negative reception and growing chorus of discontent from fans and critics alike are pushing Snow White toward becoming a major flop. This scenario is particularly troubling for Disney, which has historically relied on its flagship franchises to drive revenue and maintain its reputation in the entertainment industry. The controversy surrounding Snow White highlights several broader issues within the film industry. First, it underscores the challenges of adapting classic stories for modern audiences while retaining their original charm and appeal. The backlash against the film indicates a deep-seated anxiety about how beloved characters and narratives are being reinterpreted in today's cultural climate. Additionally, the situation highlights the increasing influence of social media on the success or failure of film projects. The rapid spread of negative feedback and the ability for fans to mobilize against a film can have profound effects on its commercial viability. Disney's experience with Snow White illustrates how critical it is for studios to carefully manage their public relations and adapt to audience sentiment. The production's internal strife also sheds light on the pressures faced by filmmakers and actors in the spotlight, with blame being cast in multiple directions, from the fans to the trailer editors and even fellow actors, it becomes evident that the creative team is grappling with significant stress. This internal discord not only affects the morale of those involved but also complicates the film's public image. Moving forward, Disney faces a critical challenge in navigating this crisis. To salvage Snow White, the studio will need to address the concerns raised by fans and critics, potentially through a re-evaluation of the film's marketing strategy, or even adjustments to the film itself. Engaging constructively with audience feedback and making necessary changes could help mitigate the damage and restore some level of interest in the film. Ultimately, the Snow White debacle serves as a cautionary tale for the industry. It illustrates the delicate balance required when modernizing classic stories, as well as the importance of aligning creative decisions with audience expectations. For Disney, the path forward will involve careful management of the film's remaining assets and a strategic approach to rebuilding its public image. The outcome of this high-stakes situation will likely have lasting implications for the studio and its approach to future projects.
The situation surrounding Disney's Snow White film has escalated into a major financial debacle, leading to significant repercussions for the project's future. The film, which was expected to be a cornerstone of Disney's upcoming slate, has become a massive financial flop, with mounting issues pushing it toward disaster. In an attempt to salvage the situation, Rachel Zegler, who stars as Snow White, is mobilizing her team, including her agent and manager, in a desperate bid to reverse the damage and reinstate the cancelled merchandise. Despite these efforts, Ziegler's attempts to remedy the situation have, so far, proven largely ineffective. The backlash against the film, fueled by dissatisfaction with the teaser trailer and criticism of Ziegler's casting, has resulted in a staggering financial impact. Disney's decision to pull thousands of pieces of Snow White merchandise, designed around Ziegler's portrayal of the character, has resulted in a loss estimated at $20 million. This significant financial setback has been compounded by the film's poor reception, which has severely damaged its prospects and reputation. In light of these ongoing challenges, Ziegler is now considering legal action as a response to the viral backlash against Snow White. The intense negative reaction to the teaser trailer, which failed to impress both critics and audiences, has only intensified the scrutiny and criticism of the film. The viral nature of the backlash has amplified the film's problems, making it increasingly difficult for Disney to recover from the financial and reputational damage. The failure of the teaser trailer to generate excitement has been a critical blow to the film's prospects. The trailer was intended to build anticipation and interest but instead contributed to a growing wave of disapproval. This poor reception has not only impacted public perception, but has also influenced the financial outcomes associated with the film. The mounting negativity has undermined the film's marketing efforts and damaged its potential success at the box office. Amidst this turmoil, Disney CEO Bob Iger has made the difficult decision to fire Zegler from several promotional engagements and appearances related to the film. This move reflects the gravity of the situation and the studio's attempt to mitigate further damage. By distancing itself from Ziegler and redirecting its promotional strategy, Disney hopes to manage the fallout and protect its remaining assets. The situation with Snow White highlights the complex dynamics of modern film production and marketing. The film's difficulties underscore the challenges of adapting classic stories for contemporary audiences while managing expectations and maintaining positive public relations. The backlash has not only impacted the film's financial performance but also raised questions about the future of similar projects and the strategies employed by studios to navigate audience sentiment and market reactions. In summary, the ongoing crisis surrounding Disney's Snow White film illustrates the significant impact of public reception on the success of a project. With Ziegler's attempts to salvage the situation proving ineffective and the film's prospects continuing to deteriorate, Disney faces a challenging path ahead. The decision to remove Zegler from promotional activities and the exploration of legal action reflect the high stakes involved in managing the fallout from this major financial and reputational setback. The outcome of this situation will likely influence future strategies in the film industry and serve as a cautionary tale for handling similar challenges. Other projects further complicating her position, additionally the boycott has caused Disney to cancel multiple special presentations that Zegler was supposed to film for television these presentations were meant to promote the film and were distinct from the live events that were also scrapped due to too. The backlash this ongoing boycott has not only resulted in millions of dollars. The fallout from Disney's Snow White has led to a significant setback, with the studio not only incurring substantial losses due to cancelled merchandise but also facing the erosion of crucial promotional content. This merchandise was designed to build excitement for the film's release in 2025, and its cancellation represents a severe blow to the film's marketing strategy. The planned presentations and promotional events were meant to generate momentum and engage audiences, but their removal has left a considerable gap in the film's promotional campaign, further complicating the situation for Disney. In response to the mounting backlash, Disney is now planning extensive reshoots for the film, scheduled to commence in December. This decision underscores the severity of the negative reception and the urgent need to address the film's numerous issues. The reshoots are intended to rectify the problems that have emerged and to attempt to realign the film with audience expectations. However, this move could introduce additional complications for Disney, as reshoots often come with their own set of challenges, including increased costs and potential delays. The scale of the boycott against Snow White is so impactful that it mirrors the problems faced with Disney's other high-profile project.
the Acolyte series. The similarities between the two situations highlight a broader issue within the studio, the difficulty of navigating audience sentiment, and the financial repercussions of failing to meet expectations. The cancellation of merchandise and critical promotional events reflects a deeper crisis within Disney, pointing to significant challenges in maintaining the film's viability and addressing public concerns. The ongoing issues with Snow White are exacerbated by the escalating tension between Rachel Zegler and Gal Gadot. Ziegler has publicly criticized Gadot, alleging that Gadot's influence over the marketing strategy and the trailer's presentation has contributed to the backlash against the film. Ziegler believes that Gadot's close relationship with director Mark Webb and her involvement in the trailer's creative process have played a substantial role in the film's poor reception. This has added fuel to the fire, intensifying the conflict between the two actresses and further complicating the film's troubled marketing campaign. Ziegler's critique of Gadot highlights deeper issues within the production team and their approach to promoting the film. The disagreement over the marketing strategy and trailer presentation underscores the challenges of aligning creative visions and maintaining a cohesive promotional narrative. Ziegler's dissatisfaction with the trailer and marketing decisions reflects broader concerns about how the film is being presented to audiences and the effectiveness of its promotional efforts. As Disney grapples with these challenges, the future of Snow White remains uncertain. The combination of canceled merchandise, problematic promotional content, and internal disputes has created a precarious situation for the film. The extensive reshoots, while aimed at addressing some of these issues, may not fully resolve the underlying problems or restore the film's momentum. The studio must navigate these complexities carefully to mitigate further damage and attempt to salvage the film's prospects. In summary, the crisis surrounding Disney's Snow White underscores the significant impact of public reception on a film's success and the challenges of managing a major project amidst widespread backlash. The loss of merchandise, the cancellation of key promotional events, and the escalating tension between cast members all contribute to a troubling outlook for the film. Disney's decision to undertake extensive reshoots reflects the severity of the situation but also introduces additional risks to salvage its future prospects. The studio will need to address these multifaceted issues and work to realign the film with audience expectations as it moves forward.